Last time I will make a video which is ultrasonic with ESP32 uh, Arduino as the framework So I was using ESP IDF as the framework So we kind of dip to it Which is ESP IDF This is, uh, this is kind of a much better version I think guys Under this uh, ESP32tutorials.com This is quite a good website because It provides all the ESP IDF stuff Which you can kind of can go through it after this we learn how to interface HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor with ESP32 using the ESP IDF. You can see this is the HCSR04. Just the alternative way. It's the same thing. Just we got you got the distance and the object. Then you can trigger the pulse and uh, giving the distance. Okay. This is the part which is how to hook up the ultrasonic distance sensor with the ESP IDF. Then you can create the example project. You can go through the step by step of the project on here. You have two components you have to install, which is the ESP IDF Leap Helpers and the Ultrasonic Sensors Library. So both of these have to install under the components folder. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Go to the frameworks here. You can see where is the your environment, which is the ESP IDF Master for me. Go in here and we go to the ex uh, sorry go to the components area. From here you can paste the which is. You need two is the ESP IDF Leap Helpers and another one is the Ultrasonics uh, Library as well. So you can see I already copy download from the here. Uh, you can obtain the files from here. You can see here you can obtain it, Ultrasonic stuff here. You just download it, download the whole folder. You just don't download the code. You just download this from this component and you search the Ultrasonic from here. U so you can see U from here A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U. So here you can see this is ultrasonic. The next one is that we need is the ESP IDF Leap Helpers. You can download it as well. All the link was given there. The main dot C, which consists of the code of ultrasonic measure stuff. Okay, so we go through here. Once you already copy the fo folder, which is the ESP. IDF flip helpers and another one is the ultrasonic okay, you can go to the examples you can see on my one of my video which is uh, how to get started making a project with ASP IDF straight away here which is I created the projects components folder you can see I put two here also as well you go to the main to the C ultrasonic distance sensor so you just flash it this code to the Flash this code to the ESP32 as well. This thing will be kind of boring because just it's serial time. So we need a hookup and device which is the I square C to the OLED display to display the result there. On through here, you can see this is explaining how the code works. You can go through this as well. Which one is the ESP32 is ESP IDF display. Let's say you have to display on the OLED. Download uh, SSD1306. I've got uh, this link. You can go through this link. You can download the folder. SSD1306 then you copy it paste it on the component folder as well like how I did just now go to the components this is examples in here then you just paste it here it's the SSD1306 you can see both of them this is the code which is from the library try to go deep you can kind of read through it so next once we're done with all of these so you can just kind of copy to the end we kind of test it out to see whether it's work through the ultrasonic distance sensor with ESP IDF frameworks. Plug it in again. Put it inside. Okay. Open our serial terminal, ESP IDF power shell. Go to the ultrasonic distance sensor SSD CD examples. CD ultrasonic. This make sure the wording is correct. You don't uh, necessarily have to make it uh, long like this. This is just my mistake. I should be make it shorter for the folder, so you don't have to write so long. Then you can build it from here. Make sure you build it from the folder. Don't build it on the. Uh, you see the examples. Don't build it under here, which is the main. Make sure you build it out inside the folder, which is contains of main components, build many uh, build files like that. 
Bill just the uh, CMAX stuff actually. F dot pi Bill flash monitor. So this kind of take uh, some times for flash it. And yeah. Okay, you can see 70 kind of display on the serial monitor. We have both way. One is the display of the serial monitor. One is the I2C device on the OLED display. It's kind of cool though. You can interesting when I cover up in here. You can see it's a real time display. Using the X, X task couple of parameters to configure the real time operating system, which is quite nice. So yeah, you can see the distance is changing. Okay, right. Okay, guys, this is the UDS system for the ultrasonic distance sensor for our project. In the future, I will smaller for my project. Cheap ultrasonic distance sensor, only display, couple of regulator to make it in the one PCB for make it a project and make it simplified more than more to that. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. See you next time. I'll be uploading more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.